5 Important Stretching Exercises That Will Help You Grow Taller It is a fact that a large percentage of the population these days are not happy about their height. In fact, many are worried that they are not as tall as they wanted to be, and as a result, they are not very confident and they become a case of asserting themselves. Because of this, many people are openly wondering about how to grow taller naturally. If you are looking for ways on how to grow taller naturally, then this video is for you to watch. Stretching exercises can increase height up to 3 inches. Stretching must be implemented in your daily routine for about 15 or 20 minutes. Although human growth depends on factors like genes, food, climate, and health conditions, however, genetics account for the majority of a person's height. Quite simple, if a person's parents are tall, it is more likely that the person will be also tall. If a person's parents are short, it is much more likely that the person will be short as well. When it comes to getting taller, the easiest and safest way to do it is a natural way and the best would be stretching. It makes the spinal space extend and by that, you can get some extra growth. Not to mention that you will feel better, look better, be more flexible and ready to respond to any physical challenges as well. Before your height hits its limit, there are a few stretches that you might help you maximize your growth. You can actually gain an inch or two by just knowing what stretches and exercise to do that will help you to elongate, strengthen, and stretch the muscles that you have the right framework for you to grow the maximum potential. Today, we will be looking for 5 stretches of exercise that are simple and really effective in improving your height no matter what age you are. They stretch your bones in your legs and spine. To know more of these stretching exercises, make sure you stay until the very end of the video. Number 1. Why Stretch? Stand with your feet directly underneath your hip bones. Make sure your feet are pointed straight ahead. Put your arms over your head at about a 45 degree angle while lying face down on the ground. Bring a yoga strap overhead and wrap your hands around the yoga strap then make the letter Y. And then you want to rotate one arm and open your chest wide. Go from left to the right side and this will open up the theoretic spine. Helping you really open up the chest and also strengthen those shoulder muscles. Doing this a few times each day or at least 3 or 4 times a week, you really see a huge difference in opening up your shoulders and really just improving your overall stature and your posture making you taller. This stretching is beneficial if you want to improve your posture, grow taller, get rid of your shoulder, neck, and upper back pain. One of the simplest stretches to turn to is the overhead letter Y stretch. Number 2. Wall Angel With the amount of time we all spend looking at our phones and hunched over desks and computer each day, these daily activities can lead to a poor postural adaptations. These sustained positions can contribute to a cathodic posture with a hunched back, rounded shoulders, and a forward head position. This can cause the muscles in the front of your chest to shorten and become tight while the muscles at the back and between your shoulder become lengthened and weak. A great exercise to improve the posture of your body and help you gain a few more inches is the wall angel or wall slide. All you need is a wall or alternatively, you can also do this lying down on the floor with your knees bent. For this, you have to bring your elbows out to the side, level with your shoulders. Press your triceps against the wall. Make an L with your body by sitting tall against the wall. Rotate your arms upwards so your forearms and the backs of your hand also press into the wall. Your arms should mimic the shape of a football goalpost. Slowly raise your arms above your head, continuing until your shoulders and elbow fully extend. The whole time, continue pressing your back into the wall. Avoid arching and try not to lose contact with the wall. Lower your arms back down until your triceps are parallel to the ground. To make the exercise more challenging, work on narrowing the L shape and also bring your heels closer to the wall while maintaining contact with everything against the wall. This is a simple but effective exercise which you can do daily. Try 3 sets of 10 minutes which you can space throughout the day to help you keep moving and mobile. Wall angels are a rather difficult stretch, even for people who already stretch and exercise often. Make sure you follow the right techniques so you don't hurt yourself. Number 3. 
hip flexor stretch. A flexor is a muscle that flexes a joint. When we talk about hip flexors, we're talking about the muscles that flex the hip joint. They're involved in pretty much all lower body movement, whether it's walking, sitting, kicking, bending, or swiveling. They work very hard to keep us in motion. The hip flexor is an area that has become more and more susceptible to tightness due to modern habits. A lot of people will sit on a chair for 8 hours a day. The result of this is that your hip flexors will become tighter and be at risk for a strain unless you perform stretches. This is a great stretch to start off with because it's so gentle and natural for your legs. To perform it, all you need to do is start off lying down on your back, try to take some slow relaxed breaths until your body becomes relaxed. Once you feel ready, lift up one of your legs, allow your knee to bend, then place both your hands just behind the knee and gently pull upwards towards your chest until you feel a good stretch. You can hold this stretch as long as you'd like. Typically recommended is around 20 seconds and then try to go further after a short break. A key thing to note about this stretch is that if you feel any hip flexor pain, stop immediately. You do not need to perform every single one of these exercises every day. Listen to your body and how it responds after a week of two or stretching and adjust accordingly. If you stick to a good schedule, you will see incredible improvements in your hip mobility doing just for a few minutes. Also, for better results, make sure to repeat stretches on both sides. You should feel a deep stretch when practicing these movements but no pain. Pain is a sign you're stretching too far and need to ease off slightly. The next stretching exercise is number 4. Cobra Pose The Cobra Pose is very effective and directly targets your hands, shoulders, belly, glutes, lower back, and organs like heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. Visually, it reflects the posture of a cobra that has its hood raised, and that's the reason it is known as a cobra pose. The method is quite simple. Lie down and cowering downwards in your stomach. Place your palms near your chest, fingers aiming forward. Place your forehead on the floor. If you discover putting a temple on the flooring hard, position your chin on the floor. While breathing in, raise your upper body with the assistance of your arms. Let the neck go as backwards as possible. Correct the arms. Stretch slowly. Once you get to the optimum stretch that you can, breathe usually as well as stay in that position for a minute. In the last position, your arms must be directly pressed as forward. Shoulders are back as well as neck, and the spinal column is stretched. Your heels should be together and while exhaling, reduce the upper body, that is, the abdominal area chest. Place the temple in the floor, bring back the arms sideways of the body. Cobra pose not only helps in creating good posture and grows a few inches for you, also it reinforces the spinal column. It reduces back hurt and also stiffness in the neck stimulates the digestive system body organs as well as improve food digestion, stretches breast, lungs, shoulders, as well as abdominal areas, allow much deeper breathing and improves liver and spleen functions. The last stretching but the most popular one is number 5. Downward Dog This stretch strengthens and lengthens your body. To do this correctly, straighten your legs to your personal limit and poke your tailbone to the ceiling and straighten the back pressing down at the shoulder blades, making sure your spine is nice and long and straight. This might hurt your hamstrings which is the area of the back of the thighs a little when you first do it, but do a deep inhale and then exhale and repeat the breath around 8 times and then relax. Also, when you're doing this, make sure you're not letting your head drop down too far and keeping head as an extension of the spine. So they're all nice and straight, and make sure you don't let your back arch, but when you do this repeatedly, it'll get easier every time. There are numerous health benefits of this stretching exercise. It strengthens the whole body, upper body, arms, shoulders, abdomen, and legs, stretches the back of the body, ankles, calves, hamstrings, spine, and calms the mind. Also, it is good to stimulate blood circulation. Downward dog is a great pose to rest the spine between strong back ends and forward bends. 
With practice, downward dog can eventually become a rest pose to help you reconnect with your breath. Make a habit of doing at least 10 minutes of these stretching when you first get out of bed. Not only will it wake up those muscles and help you form a good body posture, but also you're sending oxygen to your brain, particularly when combining your stretching with deep breathing. So don't forget to breathe deeply. You'll thank yourself after you've finished stretching in the morning and you will find it noticeably different than just waking up and brushing into the day. Your body needs regular care and attention. Your muscles can quickly tighten or weaken if not being used. So make a routine of stretching daily. Do not forget with constant effort, you can still add a few more inches with adoption of daily stretching and of course, a proper diet. With this, we are at the end of our video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this in the future. And also, hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. Thanks for watching.